Continuing coverage now on North Carolina's controversial bathroom law. Earlier, the governor was on the offensive, but now the federal government is firing back. Uh, the state of North Carolina and the U.S. Department of Justice are now suing each other over the controversial bathroom bill. Our Laura Case has been tracking this back and forth since the very beginning today. Laura? Yeah, and we can expect the back and forth to continue. We just learned late this afternoon that federal government is now suing North Carolina over this law. This after Governor Pat McCrory accused the Department of Justice of, quote, baseless and blatant overreach. North Carolina's lawsuit came hours before a deadline the Justice Department set for the governor to throw out the bathroom bill, or HB2. To refresh your memory here, it imposes restrictions on which bathrooms transgender people can use. Just last week, the Justice Department demanded the state not enforce it. The feds say it violates Title IX of the Civil Rights Act. Governor McCrory chose not to comply and said he was filing the suit to make sure North Carolina did not lose out on federal funding until the issue was resolved in court. The justice is now seeking a court order declaring the bathroom bill officially discriminatory. Just about an hour ago, we heard from the U.S. Attorney General. Here's what she and Governor McCrory had to say about their respective lawsuits. They created state-sponsored discrimination against transgender individuals who simply seek to engage in the most private of functions in a place of safety and security, a right taken for granted by most of us. This is not just a North Carolina issue. This is now a national issue and an issue which imposes new law on every private sector employer throughout the United States of America with over 15 employees. Now, the feds could have yanked hundreds of millions of dollars for North Carolina public education and public safety. That's the penalty for violating Title IX. But in the last hour, we learned that for now, that money's safe. The attorney general made it clear, though, if the department wants to drop funding, it's well within their reach. I'm live in the newsroom, Laura Queso, 10 on your side.